Welcome to Let's Talk Geek episode 60, Turbo and Tabulator drives Thundercats, in tonight's show, Lego figurines on their way to Jupiter, medical advice and our TI competition. Welcome to Let's Talk Geek episode 60. We just had our uh, mixer <laughs> work out what we meant by count or something. <laughs> um, with us in the show tonight, we have uh, Stuart Allen. How's it? Uh, for the last time for Tiny Wall. Yes, yeah, last show for a bit until I get my internet set up and Skype and all the rest. You have a personal request. <laughs> yeah, if anyone knows of a bachelor's <laughs> flat or some place to live in Cape Town, let me know. Send it to Stuart. What? Stuart Somewhere where Stuart home. can live at let's talk geek dot <laughs> <laughs> let's, or let's, ltstar dot uh, tv. Let's try let's talk network. Uh, let's talk network. Sorry, let's oh. try that again. Stuart needs a place to stay at let's talk network dot tv. Cool. If you've got a place to <laughs> stay, <coughs> or tweet him at uh, stu underscore zda. Yep, that is uh, it. We An have immediate uh, immediate comment from IRC. Obviously, is Gumtree, which yeah. is yeah. quite no, active no, in Cape Town. True. No, no, I haven't. I haven't completely. Uh, I haven't really started looking too carefully, but I'm just saying. Cool. Look carefully. And we also have Quentin. Uh, Hi. Uh, what's your Twitter handle again? Uh, Quentin Zeta. Cool. That's All it. Right. And your blog? Uh, Geek. That's your Zeta. With a Q. With a Q. Q double E. G three. G E E Q. That's your Zeta. Cool. Uh, Johan Els. Hey. Good evening. How are you? Nice to have you on the show again. Oh, thank you very much. Cool. Uh, you're going to be a bit more of a regular. Appearance while Stuart's here? Well, st while Stuart's uh, here. <laughs> Until Stuart's back, sure. <laughs> oh, well, thanks if you have me. I'll, I'll, I'll stick around, yeah. Let's see what happens. And you can find you at... At Johan underscore else or my blog. Um, blog dot who hyphen else dot Stuart ZA. And yes, please, uh, have a look around and let us know what we need to do. And I can promise none of the areas you're making tonight has anything to do with alcohol. We just <laughs> all had bad weeks. Yeah, we've actually... That's the problem. Uh, <laughs> next time, yes. I'll no more lubricant. Than in the fridge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Jan Vermeulen, once again, uh, from My Broadband. And you can find him at Jan V Z A. Sorry, I just had to say it because I've now memorized it. Nice. nice and we, we have the mixer, once again, mixing for us. Oh, we must do a sum say for that one. <laughs> <laughs> the one that will not be named. Yeah. Cool. Um, we actually have a random, thanks to Jan. Do you want to read them? <laughs> sure. All right. So <laughs> first you. random is that the lux is the SI unit of illuminance and luminous emittance, equivalent to the radiometric quantity irradiance, which is watts per square meter. But um, the irradiance is the power, um, uh, but uh, sorry, uh, lux has the power of each wavelength weighted, whereas yes. um, the, the radiometric quantity doesn't. All right. So illuminance is a measure of how much luminous flux measured in lumens, is spread over a given area. Now, the way you can sort of imagine this quite easily is if you've got, um, if you've got some light shining just at a random power, so some lumens, yeah. and concentrated over a small area, that small area will be lit up a lot. And when it's spread over a larger area, that area is, kind of, you know, like when you focus your mag light, for anybody yes. who's played with one, that's how you can sort of relate lumens to lux. And this is something that's always bugged me um, because some stuff gets measured in lumens, like um, video projectors, yeah, and other stuff gets measured in lux, and I'm like, what the hell? And then candle power as well. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> and then lumens, yeah, the, the measure of lumens is based on ca candle. Candela. Candela, yeah. there we go. Yep, anyway. <laughs> and uh, the reason that's the random today is because this is show 60, and 60 in Roman numerals is LX, and LX is Just the abbreviation for Lux. The SI unit for Lux. Yes. Also, another random, um, with uh, the, th the show number being 60, is the probability that you share a birthday with someone in a room of 60 people is 0.994122660. Okay, so who's, who's 60 here? <laughs> <laughs> no, in a no. room of 60 if people. If you have 60 people. Oh, <coughs> yeah. okay, in a room of 60 people. Yes. The probability that You'll someone share a else there has and the on the car train would work well, the be same. More than 60 people. How many people in a car? Car train car. I don't uh, know. Yeah, okay, not 60. Oh, you're right. It's more than 60, I think. In a cart? Yeah, I mm. think it's more than 60. 
Yeah. I'll check tomorrow morning. Yeah, check tomorrow, tomorrow morning. You know. Are they running? You know. Yeah, they running are tomorrow. running. No, they will be running tomorrow. I hope. Oh, well, we'll see tomorrow morning. I went. We we did the we did the uh, car train on Monday for mm-hmm. the first time. So we all went to from Hatfield to Sandton. Cool. Apparently, a bit of a cable theft problem. Yeah. Today. Today, yeah. But anyway. But I must tell you, I did this. I did the car train thing with the folks and the kids on on uh, Sunday morning. Luckily, we went very early because, yeah, coming back by lunchtime, you could see these f- wave of people walking into Santon Square. Yeah. And these Pretoria people that's never seen Nelson Mandela's <laughs> And they <laughs> all run there and they get everyone. And there's queues of people, photos. 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 It's it just, was quite oh, ridiculous. It was quite fun crazy. actually to watch, but yes. <laughs> we, we thought about doing it this Sunday and decided to give it a skip for two, three weeks. Oh, it mm. wasn't that busy, hey? Was it? No. On Monday, it was quiet. We went to 10 o'clock and it was quiet. Uh, coming back, we ca- we came back at half past four, and then it was busy. Uh, it was Rush really hour. busy, but yeah. How, how, how much lifted up over lunchtime on Sunday? So, how yeah. much to take the family over there? Uh, it's about yeah. forty five rand, forty five rand per person per direction. Okay, so ninety. Bucks. No, it wasn't that bad. No, it's about thirty seven um, from here to Santon. Yes, one way. Yeah, but from, from Hatfield to Santon is forty five. Okay, yeah. true. You in Pretoria East? Yep. Hmm. Cool. All right. Um, into our topics. The first one is Stanford's offering a intro to AI course for free. Yes. Online. That's pretty cool. I hope sorry, you're sorry. I have signed up. I also signed up. I'm what course? Up. Intro really to cool. AI. Introduction to AI. Oh. And okay, so So uh, what is this? Is the theory behind AI? No, it's an introduction. It's a it's, it's a, a second university. year com- a second year computer science course. Oh. Called Introduction to AI. So I've done it already. Yes, you've done it already. Everyone's okay, so no. I, haven't, I haven't. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, there we I go. I studied so it'll be introdu- oh, Thank you. Um, it'll be enough. an introduction to co- artificial intelligence. Is it going to be like proper AI or is it just, is it going to be computational intelligence? No, it sh- will be, as far as I know, it's going to be a mix of both. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, a proper introduction. Proper introduction. Sure. <laughs> like and, if and it will, as far as I understand, it's probably not going to be coding. It's going to be more pseudocode and things like that. Mm, yeah. Um, normally it is. But the cool thing is, is this is a Stanford <laughs> course and... Your the online course is run at the same time as the real course mm-hmm. is. You get the same material, you submit the same assignments, and you write the same exams. Hold on while I sign up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. but um, um, and also they, they estimate about ten hours a week. You're gonna yes, need yeah. to do it, and if you get through, you get a certificate. Oh, you get a certificate from them. That says so what are they trying to do with this? Is Stanford trying to broaden it's, out their? It's a fun thing to s- introduce people to AI. And it's a bit of a test to see if it's possible to actually run online courses like this. I would say it's in order to build a clan of warriors to take on Skynet when she eventually tries but to take over the world. Or, or well, build wait, wait, there is a little bit of thing. Here. The guy that's running the course, it's Sebastian mm-hmm. Throng and another guy. I can't remember his name now. And um, Sebastian Throng is very well known b- with probabilistic robotics. And he's the guy that, that led the team to win the DARPA Grand Challenge with Stanley, uh, the t- uh, VW Touareg. Um, so it's him, and the other guy is a Google guy, head of innovation of science. And Isn't everything's run on Google apps and Google. Okay. It's all Google uh, w- uh, groups and things like that. So I think it might be a time with Google as well. W- one other thing, or one friend to mention is that the book you need for this it was written by. Yeah, the, oh, no, the book is written by the two guys, and it's one hundred and fourteen dollars. Yikes. <laughs> so so you, have the, you have to get the book. If, if you look you around you carefully, okay. you can find it. Yeah. I'm not going to say we. But it's very well. So you'd be able to buy it at the, the normal Juta bookshop yeah. or something like that. Yeah. It's, you'd probably get it for a lot cheaper if you bought it in South Africa. You might get it under the university program or something. But it's pretty cool. It's and very cool. I've signed up. And I believe they're a little bit surprised on the amount of people that signed up. It, because it's on slash they've, dot. It they probably <laughs> got like put on Reddit as well. Yeah. It did. yeah. yeah. And that was the thing. And it, it's, they pushed the, the signups. They were supposed to start uh, registration on the... Uh, mm-hmm. The twenty something of September, it's now been pushed into October. Okay. Because just with the volume of people, so I'm not sure if they're going to have a thing where they're going to uh, like weed out a bit, or how they're going to do the exams, whether it's going to be monkey puzzles or what. Um, but we'll see. But it's going to be. It should be quite fun. No, it should be very cool. Um, all right. Into the next topic from there. Did someone paste that link in? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, something I actually didn't start this week. It started about two weeks ago, but I forgot to mention Thundercats. Uh, oh. Has started up again. I don't know if anybody here remembers Thundercats from yes, you remember loved Thundercats, it. but it's one of those series I just didn't get to watch nearly as much as I wanted to. I, I watched quite a bit of He Man 
and uh, and Bionic Six, but I never got to watch enough Thundercats. But okay, why is uh, what's so cool about it? Basically, they've done a remix of it, so it's not the original. Oh, um, okay. oh, look, I just remember Thundercats from my my childhood, and it was really cool. I had the sticker the book. Of it. We can't get in this country yet, uh, but I have managed to view. Uh, the current episodes, um, they've changed the story a bit and they've done a bit of an update. So it is modernized and all the rest of it and it's actually working very well. All the last two episodes I've seen. Oh, okay. Cool. If you like it. Still yeah. animated? Still animated. Cheap scale or was it now oh, top of the end animation? Uh, it is actually quite very good, nice animation. It's slightly more anime style. Okay. But not quite fully. Um, but actually a bit of a storyline. So the background from the first three episodes is actually fairly good. So they've okay. actually got people to write it. And they've changed the, the – originally they landed on some planet or something. I can't remember the exact storyline. Oh, well, it was a while that. ago. But they've changed how that – it's more they got attacked on this planet and they need to go find some book or something at the moment. So, <laughs> Okay. I, I, I dig well, these things. Well, staying on the animations, yeah. did you guys read this article on Skynet, uh, The Smurfs and the Death Ray Apocalypse? That was what? written in Underwire. Yes, exactly. No. About the new Smurfs movie. I think it was actually in my broadband post. Oh, I, I, got a, I got an interesting email also today. What? About how Lady Gaga's the Antichrist. <sighs> yes, I got that one as well. Oh, oh yeah, but that, is that because of her Judas video? <laughs> I don't know. No, lots of reasons. I'm not going to go reasons. into all uh, the And she might be, a, she's, she's also a Freemason. Which I don't know no, why. No, she, we, we I don't know how she could be both. But video. anyway, yeah. 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 But just to come back to this article, the the, the writer actually talks about um, the fact that they used. Oh, I've got the wrong story. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I've got the unwired summary of the story. The original story. The writer actually <laughs> talks about the fact that they used something like three thousand Intel pro uh, servers to actually render this movie out. And if you were to use the same amount of computing power. To actually try and look at some of the real problems in the world, how many of those you could actually solve. <laughs> so, in case we ever get a Skynet, just first look at Hollywood for support in processing power to actually wait, solve. Wait, no, no. You see, it's Hollywood is going to actually have started Skynet. It's you it's know they're going to write it there. It's going to be some anti-piracy thing that's going to take over the internet <laughs> <laughs> and then hunt us down. <laughs> it's just, Apparently, these guys at animation studios and those. Uh, They've got uh, rather the, large yeah. render farms. Yes. Yes, rather There's large. Quite, quite a lot of computational power just yeah. sitting there. Yeah. Cool. Who, well, who's that guy that did? There's an Australia, uh, uh, New Zealand company. There we go. Mm. Animators oh, who worked. About Weta. Yes, Weta. Yeah, that's yeah. Peter Jackson's company. Yes, yeah. Animators who worked on the Smurfs told, uh, told us it took 5,008 core Intel processors <laughs> to render the film and that on average. It took one animator a week to render three or four seconds of footage. Sure. 5,008 core <laughs> Intel processors. So the next time you rag on an animated I mean, film, oh, no, you I mean, what goes into it. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, the, you, what, like there, was some, there was some very interesting statistics. I can't remember, but just, you know, how large a frame of, a frame of rendered information is. It's so many megs and so many, you know, it's, it's, you're talking about rather large quantities of just data storage and things like that too. It's interesting. It's very interesting. No, it's it's a whole computer science all by itself. Oh yes, yeah, no, um, If you look at it and the, the way they paralyze the the rendering and all the rest, yeah. of it, it's actually incredible what they do. Yeah, parallel ray traces and all sorts of stuff like that. It's very cool. Oh. Cool. All right. Okay, so th Thundercats get, is a, gets a thumbs up from yes. Tim. Yes, I, I like it. If you like that type of thing, if you're into animated shows, it's it's worthwhile checking out when it comes to this country. Yes, yeah. Is if, it on Netflix? I have no idea. Probably not yet I because it's it. just started broadcasting. Yeah. Good point. Yeah, so um, it's been panned a little by old Thundercats fans. I'm um, an old Thundercats fan. Oh, and you don't mind the fact that they've sort of changed all the characters up? Well, I think they sort of had to because the old one, it was, you know, it, it's a bit B-grade. It, look, think of He-Man. He-Man now, if you think about it, is a bit B-grade. Yeah. So they had to they do... B-grade when they made it. Grade, dude. I think it was... Yeah, I, was about to, I think if we talk about F-grade or something. Okay, all right. Anyway. By the power of crystal. <laughs> the, the, I think they still retained a bit of... Look, we're going to have to wait and see, but I think they still retained the core of it. Um, and they had to do a bit of a reboot to, to make it competitive. Mm. And I think they, they did that quite well. Yeah, well, cool. Um, I'm shaking my head because our mixer... Yeah? Our very silent mixer... Decided to join us in the IRC uh, with a typical, typical comment. The female bosom is really not that interesting. <laughs> I'll vote for space, space research instead. 
Well, don't worry. We'll but get moving to, along. We're getting, we're getting to the space research now. No. <laughs> I, I still want to know. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going there. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. R- riots in... Uh, the riots in London. In London. <laughs> and how technology caused them. Yes. You know what? Uh, yeah, it, it, because if there wasn't awesome stuff in the shops, the rioters would have nothing to steal, so we wouldn't be... But they they're not see. They seem like... Tennis shoe, uh, like Dude, they're trainers stealing it. They're stealing everything. Yes. But that's technology. Okay. No, no, but whoa, whoa, you know whoa. Your sto- statement was how, how technology started the riot. No, how or technology helps. caused the riots and started and helped and sustains it. Well, the riots just started when a drug no, dealer got the, shot. Yeah, some guy got shot. Okay, yeah. there's a bit more. They're still yeah. looking into exactly the why the riots started. It's quite a complex social issue, so we're not going to go into that bit. I'll be sorry. I just... Uh, that was what I said was sarcastic. If you yeah. guys, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sarcasm! Um, <laughs> Hold on, let me turn my sarcasm filter on. <laughs> yeah. um, but in this, they're blaming BlackBerry <laughs> Messenger <laughs> uh, for allowing these guys to assemble <laughs> and meet and all the rest of it. Oh, and my okay. thing is, okay, well, I could take BlackBerry Messenger away, then they would have used Twitter or take Facebook, Twitter what? or they would have phoned each other. So you carry on back, they would or have phoned holler. each other, and then what? They would have sent carrier pigeons. Yes. Where there's a will, there's a way. And they would have shot Winston. <laughs> and that's the bottom line. He would have lost the race. It's always very easy as a scapegoat. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, social media is destroying society. Ooh, look, it's enabling rights. And then on the second hand, Twitter was praised for allowing the Egyptians to rise yeah. up against their and rise regime. against the regime. Yeah, yeah. that's the same thing. Is exactly what. You know. Well, there's a, there's a little bit of a difference. Yeah. In Egypt, they were writing and uh, uh, protesting for a cause. Uh, in London, they're protesting for new tennis shoes. Yes. C- <laughs> did you know the store that's been hit the most and cleaned out the most is the sports store? Yeah, it's because they love their trainers. Uh. <laughs> They love the Look, cricket bats. They, they, I mean, they, they broke on. into a hotel and they, they robbed everyone's purses. They took all the ladies' purses and bailed. Uh, I mean, come on, that's not right. Have you seen course. the price of trainers? I oh, know, it is yeah. expensive. Yeah, so I mean, when you're living a, on the dole, yeah, I mean, and you've got to pay a couple of hundred quid for a pair of shoes, I mean. Ooh, that looks mighty tempting. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, but it's the whole thing about games make you violent. You know? It's, yeah. Social media causes riots, games make you violent. It's an empty argument. Cool. Look, as I said, we have been told, look, the original th- was that some guy got shot. Yes. That, that, that was the was, start. That was on it's Thursday, now, last week, Thursday, as far uh, as I and, remember. Yeah. Now, the problem with the, the current rights and what they're doing about it is no longer about that. Yeah. They're, out poli- they're basically looting and going out in gangs no, to no, no political mug people and nothing. steal stuff. Yeah. Um, and why exactly all the rest of it? I don't know. There's a lot of social issues that yes. are why. Yes. Did you, one thing I also wanted to mention, did you see that BlackBerry said they're offering, willing to help the police in any way? Yeah, it's and interesting. And then they got threatened to be hacked. By who? By the not, by anonymous. Oh, just, no, who some cares? other hacker group yeah. saying, yeah. well, if you do that, we're going to hack you. And and what? Yo, and we're going to get all the telephone numbers and location of all your employees and release it to these uh people <laughs> so which is just it, shocking oh uh, it's interesting that's that's not uh playing yeah. no nice that's at all. dodgy anyway well, i wonder what the, i'm the just like in the real world the police should have gotten a court order and told them we wanted information not the service provider turning around and yeah, said no, that's true exactly. we'll help you no that's they gotta right. do it that's properly like, i mean come no, on okay but then why would you have a blackberry most of these thank uh, you the uh, blackberries <laughs> are quite big with uh, and it's, it's 14 to 17 year olds they say is the biggest part of no, this right that's sad hey? that's um, and Blackberry is very big in there now what they do say is that most probably uh, the police did have that and were asking help for help from Blackberry and previously Blackberry said they can't help people because of the encryption and all that mm. yeah. Blackberry is also getting a lot of very bad publicity because in the news it's saying Blackberry Cause caused this the right, so they're yeah. saying when the police are asking us for help we will help them Okay. And that's all that that's about. And, and then the news goes guys that all out of proportion and the blogosphere goes nuts because now BlackBerry is selling out its users. Strange enough, I didn't actually get the message, except for the hacker group going, yeah. well, we're going to hack that's you. That's what but I mean. Everybody else that, is going, you're talking about what these, pe- what these rioters are doing is just not right. Yeah. So it, there's not that much anti-thing about BlackBerry helping them. No, no, but I'm saying it's, that's where they could be ending up. Yes. But yeah. All right. Anyway, but it's it's interesting. It's interesting to see the news reports and stuff. It's saying, you know, technology causes the, cause the riots. I mean, no. no. It's other. Things. I would say, and I, I put it in the show notes. Uh, they probably fueled the riots. No. Might have been uh, used as a good catalyst, but like you said, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it would have been something else. It's an else. enabling I mean, technology. The, the that's riots stop started before the BlackBerry Mesh has maybe been used as an org- organizing tool. 
but we are then sorry for Shadrach. So yeah, exactly. I mean, mean, cell phones have existed for this, how long now? You know, put it this way: how did how did the how did Indians thro- overthrow the colonial government in India in fifteen in, uh, with was smoke it signals? Communication. Exactly. It, what, there was nothing there that was there, but I'm sure they blamed it on the newspapers and the printing press and all the rest. So, yeah. Yeah. Gutenberg. Yeah, that was even further back. But I'll, yes, I'm talking about it quite recently. But yeah. It's wherever there's a means of communication, it's always going to get blame blamed the for one, yeah. social ills. Because people talk, yeah. and whatever method they're talking is is to blame. Anyway. And it's an easy scapegoat. Yes. Instead of tackling the real problems, really having to ask some hard questions about society and why, you know, why why are these youths, where their parents, all the rest of it, it's easy to just blame technology. It's nice and faceless, and technology doesn't fight back. The There's an IRC comment now about damn you printing press. Yeah. <laughs> and, and interestingly enough, printing presses were destroyed at one stage yeah. in the Middle Ages because it was seen as there was causing uprising. No, yeah. Not even in the Middle up. Ages. Yeah, yeah. Several times printing presses have been banned. In early America, printing presses were banned because they were seen as a... Well, even before um, that... Uh, a means yeah. of revolution. It got well, yeah, banned. No government likes it when it's people can communicate easy. Yeah. yeah. It got banned to teach people to, to read and write at one exactly. stage. It had to be maintained amongst the nobility because, you know, they might start getting ideas that, that they might disagree with the people. Yeah. Ah. So, you know, it's new technology, it's bad. That That's the evil. Let's ban speaking. Yeah. Let's still giggle go off the air now. <laughs> Jack, think of some people. Anyway. Um, Moving on. Something more fun. Lego figures hitch a ride with Narcissus Juno mission. This is cool. This is very cool. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. A little bit of details about the NASA Juno mission. It was launched uh, August 5th. It's on a five-year mission to Mm -hmm. uh, Jupiter. It arrives in July 2016. So it goes out, gets a slingshot around Mars, comes back past Earth, and then out. And um, the spacecraft will orbit Jupiter for about a year, um, about 33 orbits. And it, the interesting thing is it is the furthest solar-powered spacecraft. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. It so will be. It will be. Sorry. It will be the furthest solar-powered spacecraft. Oh, the other ones uh, using nuclear? Yeah. They use RTGs, radio oh, I can't, RTGs. Yeah. Okay. Um, quick radio thermal generators, sorry. <laughs> quick question about the design. Because when it launched, we looked at it quickly, and it mm. looked like Juno – had to choose either it was aimed at the sun and it can recharge or it's aimed at earth and it can send back its, its Data. information yeah. yes um so but in order to aim itself it needs to burn um so is it not going to run out of juice at some point i'm sh- n- or batteries no i'm sure it's got batteries i'm sure it's quite quite critically managed as well yeah okay yeah because i mean also when it goes i mean dep- i'm not sure what orbit it's going around jupiter but it if it gets into the shadow, that could be for quite, I mean, for one year, you do 33 <coughs> orbits in one year. So you could spend quite a, f- you could spend quite a long time behind um, in the shadow. And that could be a problem. Depending on how the orbit goes. That's what I'm saying. I'm not yeah. 100% sure on what mm. orbit inclinations. But anyway, uh, it's quite a cool mission. Um, and it's the end of mission. It's going to deorbit and burn up in Jupiter. And I have the geek question. Yes. Which Lego figure did they send? Right. Okay. Yes. Talk about the Lego figures. They sent. Um, they sent. They. It, it's in partnership with a, with uh, Lego uh, to try get kids inv- involved in science and things like that. So they have sent uh, Jupiter, his wife Juno, and uh, Galileo okay. to f- oh. the first to discover the Jovian moons, and there's. A, but the Lego figures are not plastic. They are milled out of aluminium. Oh. And why? Uh, they, why and they, unpainted. And unpainted, yes. And you know why? Because <coughs> plastic outgasses, and they worried about the the gas condensing on camera lenses. That's oh, how sensitive that's so those cool. instruments are. Okay. <laughs> wow. So the next question is: Is Lego releasing these people? As far as I know, n- there's not. Uh, this is a once-off machined for the space flight, but who but knows? I want the Lego Galileo. That could be pretty well, cool. Well, yes. You can get. Um, what you call I know you, you get the, the mini custom ones. Oh, yes, you can get the custom ones. Yeah, yeah well, they'll build it well, up for you. And, and I know that guys take the little Lego men and they modify them. Yes. That is true, yeah. Why well, not just check, t- uh, check on Blocks Universe, like B L O X universe.co.za? I'm sure those guys will find what you need. And but if, you, and if they don't, send them a request. And the, the three figurines cost $15,000 to machine. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody really likes their Lego. 
Yeah, well, uh, if Lego, the Lego likes the to do Lego, yeah. Lego yeah. Pay for the project. Work, my, my question though is, why did it cost so much to machine that? Because it's, it's their machines. No, no, no. It's it's no. it's yes, it is their machines, and it, that's how much it costs to do this kind of work. Okay. Yeah, right. it's expensive. How how big are they? they? I mean, it's it, Tim, it's 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 going to be aircraft grade, and it's going to be to specifications, and it's going to be this and that. And yeah, but what I mean is, it's it's. It's one of those fake amounts of money. It's done in Lego's machine shops by Lego. Of course. And sent yeah. by Lego. It, you know, effectively... If you went and asked them to do it, that's how much it would cost you, yes. basically. Yeah. Sorry. And but are, yeah, are so those real Lego man size or a bit bigger? Uh, or they what? are real me- Lego man size. Uh, 1.5 okay. inches tall. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, fake, fake. How much is that in real measurement? 1.5 inches. Yeah. Uh, 20, uh, 30 odd mils. Okay. No. All right. But anyway, so yeah, so the Juno mission is itself is quite interesting. So um, it's it's one of the, the there's a few mission objectives. They want to find out how much water is in uh, Jupiter's atmosphere, which also that'll come back to how Jupiter was formed, because they think Jupiter, because it's the largest planet, was formed really early in the solar system, and um, in the evolution of the solar system. So they want to find out, you know, the amount of water weighs up and you know what the initial uh, dust, uh, the dust disk was made up of and things like that. Mm. Current working theory that it, that it might have even been a second star. star it was a, a failed star and yeah, there's all sorts of things like that. Uh, you, they want to look into the atmosphere to me- into deep into the atmosphere to measure the composition, the temperatures and things like that. They also want to mag- uh, map the magnetic and gravity fields around it and um, the magnetosphere as well they want to in- investigate. So um, that's the that's the area around Jupiter's poles where you get these auroras uh, forming. You can actually see them on some fo- uh, some telesc- some f- uh, what's astrophotography and stuff. You can see the auroras around um, around the poles, which is quite interesting. So yeah, go check it out. It should be quite cool. Hmm. And we've got the big uh, conference, astronomy conference coming up soon. Yes, I can't. I can't. I'm not sure when when it is. We, well, it's, it's, on, it's on the wiki. It's yeah. on our wiki. On the and wiki. It, I'm sure it'll be and put in start dates. It is in start dates. Okay, yes. cool. It's, it's, look, when I say soon, it's within the next two months. Not yeah, but unfortunately, not next if week you haven't soon. really applied for... If you haven't, reg- if you yeah, haven't it's registered, it's, it's... too late. It's too late now. Uh, and it's a bit expensive. Oh, you, yeah. Oh, no, wait. I think you still can get you in. You can still get in, yes. but it's going to be pricey to get in. Those South Africans do, dis- do get a discount. Yes. Awesome being a third world country. Yes. It has its perks. Yes, yeah. Johan. What are you <laughs> giggling so much about? <laughs> if you sign up to ACM... I think IEEE does it as well. If you specify South Africa, you get a discount as a third world country. <laughs> Who? ACM. ACM, okay. Yeah, ACM and IEEE. Cool. Right, strong passwords. Uh, XKCD had an awesome comment today about, yeah. you know, password strength and, you know, making your life hard where you could actually just make it simpler, yes, admittedly a longer password, but easy to remember and it's more secure. Well, and this is this is where the, the, the source of the dispute is. is because, Thank you. Is, okay, because um, we've had this discussion before and certain people who will not be named were quite angry when XKCD published this because they, they had exactly the same argument. Is um, basically, okay, I don't want to ruin the punchline for anybody, so go <laughs> read the XKCD, then come back. We'll wait for you. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay all right. Read it. Read it. Right. Just, just w- welcome back. All right, kay. now... Um, and, and now, basically, the punchline is that we've we've succeeded in getting people to think up passwords that are hard for people to remember and easy for computers to crack. Basically, yes. Um, where, whereas, if you do th- use his system of chaining four unrelated words together, then you're going to have a password that's easy for a human to remember, uh, but hard for a computer to crack. Right. Yes. But However, I postulate, and it would have been really great to be able to discuss this with Dominic, that a simple, because right now um, you're working on the, on the principle that you're going to crack it character by character, right? Yes. Kay. Now, get rid of that idea. Now, let's crack it word by word. Now, there's already a, a thing called a dictionary attack against weak passwords, right? This all is right. why we tell people to make strong the, uh, passwords. So now you, all you do is you extend that dictionary attack ye- to iterate exactly the same no, way as you would over a character uh, gets, attack. Let's say a character, first character is 1 to the twi- uh, 26, right? Uh, then if you take all the characters in, that's uppercase, lowercase, it's 52. Yeah. And then you add all the other characters. So let's say, I can't, I don't but know what the exact number. But in example that he uses only lowercase, and I'm saying don't crack it character by character. Crack it uh, word by word. Yeah, I know. Use a dictionary now, character. how many words are there in the dictionary? Lots. But but you can run a normal dictionary attack against these things. Yes, if, if, if the people pick up common words. Yes. 
I know that's why he said don't make up a sentence because the probability of chaining words together gets higher. But if you go and pick five or four random words from a dictionary that you can memorize, mm. the, the amount of your space is, is fairly large. The probability of them cracking that is. And this is against with other people still using the old method. So you're, you're, it's not just quite a simple dictionary no, attack. No, 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 it's not a simple one. Well, it basically, what the, the way this dictionary attack would scale, the way I would see it is, is you would actually go for combinations of three and four words and then sort of try to, and then, you know, whatever. Like, I'd have to play with it to see if I could make it work. Yeah, if and then if, I mean, first you're going to try a normal dictionary. Then you're going to try this my extended dictionary attack. Then you're going to try a dictionary attack with litified words. And then you're going to have to boot. Yes. No, look, like one of our friends says, if you really want the most secure one, you need a random password. If, if you did a, a, like an eight character, truly random character password, it's more secure than this. But the problem is to memorize that thing, you're not going to memorize it easily and people are going to start writing it down. So you need a, 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 simply, a simple way to memorize it. Um, in his comparison, he's taking somebody actually picking a word, doing character substitution, and then maybe like two characters at the end, which is how most people generally do it. Mm. Well, these well if you pick words, it's um, computationally far harder to get that password. Okay. Sorry, you wanted to say something, Quentin? Yeah, there's, a, there's an article on Hacker News that came out about three or four months ago that we read at work regarding this. And I'm going to find the link now and put it in RC because it's, it explains why it is stronger than uh, uh, random okay. password. Random word. Let's oh. just come back. Number one, that was a joke. I thought it was a very funny joke. The point he was trying to make was that we actually, we're trying to make passwords too. Okay, but now in the real world, if you actually use the the first example of what uh, leech talk, yeah, it's already an issue. So yes. Secondly, uh, if you just go to passwordmeter.com and you type in that correct horse battery staple, staple, staple they reckon number of characters. Okay, the the score is forty percent. Uh, complexity is good. Uh, letters only minus twenty eight, so they give an overall rating of forty percent for that password. Uh, but measure what, what that criteria? Mean? What, what do you mean? They give mean? it. Okay, number of characters, they give plus to 112. But this Just one, give me, give me, case, give, me, give, me uh, give me a something to the power number of, what's the, what's the search space? See, they don't do this. What this thing is measuring it on, do you have, have you put lead speak into it? Yes. Then have you, you get an extra 10%. Yes, have you got um, so a certain size? It's yes. actually quite a bad, it doesn't quite measure it in and, a way and that And this is can. exactly what XKCD's point was, is that our measure of password strength is bad. Is bad. Yeah. Perhaps. I, I, would, I would still love to, like, uh, not, yeah. I, but I just ha don't have the time. But I've, I actually had, to I've, I've read a couple of security guys um, who've actually recommended this over using LeetSpeak or anything like that. Yeah, the, the article's in IRC now. It, it's, he breaks down how every password would be attacked with dictionary and all that and how long it would take. Look, it's, it's, not, it's not a, even with this one, it's not a true uh, m amount of characters uh, or like whatever, 96 to the power of the amount of characters. So it's still a lot smaller than that, but it's actually... You know, very, very secure. You know, okay, and there's one easy way to solve this, okay? Even if you're using this, for example, is just it's 2 to the power 28 at a, three days at 1,000 guesses a second, right? It's all good and well if you can do that locally. Yes. If, yes. You, if you're sitting remotely and you're trying to break into a guy's email address or something like that, ain't going to work. No, no. Okay, and you could very easily add it into the system to detect brute force attacks like Well, that. that's a big thing. Yeah. Any system should have some sort of a timeout. After five yeah. passwords, it kill the uh, kill yeah. the attacker. Oh, the whatever. classic that's one in Linux, it, 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 after a failed password, it waits five seconds. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's all. Or, well, or you just on your Linux many... box, just add fail to ban. Yes. 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 You could do that. Works yeah. like a charm. Um, but even here, if the... you accessing over network, the very fact you've got network latency in there is a, adds, mm. adds mm. that. Oh, no, true. Yeah. That yeah, true. But I'm just saying. But bottom line, still funny. It yes. is still funny. Cool. It's way easier to, as someone in the RSC was saying, way easier to release a fake game that says log in with your Facebook credentials so Here you can go. share it with your friends while it's completely fake. Cool. Yeah. Way easier to do. Yes, yeah. agreed. Yeah. And, and I must say, you're going to have to agree with you. It is funny, but I think he, the, the, that's Randall Monroe's trick. Is he, ma he makes something that is so hilarious, everybody's laughing at it, everybody's sharing it, but it's true. And yes. it's yes. maybe something to think about. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And, right. and salt your passwords in your DBs.
please. <laughs> For and the love and, of pie. And, and please don't come up with your own hashing functions. <laughs> Please, please. No, don't post me. Don't, don't post me. Don't post me. No, no, no. Don't no, post me. It wasn't. <laughs> yeah, please. And especially if your hash is 16 characters long afterwards. Please don't. Yeah, we, we've please come don't. across an example. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Nokia it seems to be hell-bent in um, liking Microsoft. Well, I thought they're in bed with them now. Yes, pretty much. Because oh. they've decided the only phone... They drank uh, the Steve Ball. The, what's it? The Steve, Steve Ball the Kool-Aid, eh? Yeah. Really drank the Kool Aid. And you well, see what well, it's the new CEO basically came from Microsoft. Yeah, Stephen. Yeah, so basically, basically came Microsoft. he came yeah. from Microsoft. Okay. Yeah, no, uh, we we talked about this yeah. before. But anyway, they've they've now decided America's not going to get any more non Microsoft phones. They're only going to get the Microsoft phones from Nokia. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So that's look. But I mean, come, line Nokia has been confirmed for South Africa. But the, yes. But Nokia had very little penetration in the US market anyway. True. None. But my, my concern here is I actually like the N9 Mimo phone. I actually want it to do well. But they sort of, they've killed it. Yeah, if you don't release in the States, it's Yeah, over. but they never release in the States anyway. They're Europeans. I guess. But how did it become the dominant phone brand? How did Symbian become the dominant smartphone brand if it didn't release in the States? Well, let's not. The rest of the world. The rest of the really? world. Really? Yes. They, they're they're, they're very small. They're small the states. Yeah, counting t against what uh, the Americans might say in their movies, they're actually a very small country. Well, they it is 50 300. countries federated. India, it India, is massive. India yes. and, and the You're East true. have but got it, the yeah, population. Just, yeah, yeah, I, I, okay, they've whoa, got whoa, the population, but do they no, have the users? buying power? But never mind, Africa. Yeah, okay, but whoa, whoa, whoa. But it, that's a whole continent. Okay, listen, yes. the Nokia, why Nokia became the most successful phone manufacturer is because of the cheap phones. Mm. Yeah, the cheap yes, Symbian phones. The cheap sim so you've got, Ch you've got Africa with, a nearly, with, with just over a billion people now. You've got India with a billion people. You've got China with a billion people versus the 300 million sitting in America. Yeah. Okay, there is a difference there, yeah. Smartphones are such a small, small, small fraction of the percentage of phones sold in the world. But having said this, put this in, no, no developer is going to be developing for Symbian no. very much longer. So pretty much if this fails and people don't buy the Microsoft Nokia phone, That's they're dead. And no. Microsoft gets more pie on its face because they're still selling their normal stuff. They're still selling their stuff outside the US. They, st they yes. have to keep selling the cheap stuff. They're going to have to keep selling the cheap. And stuff. the cheap but stuff but have to keep on running Symbian. To run Symbian forty. Yeah, yeah, but they've stopped. Or most development on Symbian has pretty much stopped. Yeah, Symbian sixty. Yes, yeah, Symbian forty is still carrying on. All yes. those cheap phones yes, run no, Symbian no. forty. Yeah. But all the Android cheap phones now are getting to the same price and point. Uh, yeah, um, the cheap they might not have the durability. They won't have the durability. Perhaps, but Do they'll run the apps. Yeah, that's mm, yeah. The thing is, you can be get like the to see. Motorola so, Defy. It's a fairly rugged phone. But now LG, for instance, have just confirmed a new Optimus phone. It's going to cost a thousand eight hundred bucks for a, a gingerbread Android device Wowie. for South Africa. That's Sorry, nice. someone in Haw uh, so, uh, Hawkeys in the RC says Symbian Forty got canned as well. Yeah, but is that worldwide or just the US? US. Uh, uh, look, I know in US there's only my that's phone. Sixty was meant to take over from it. Um, no, but but I, I know basically they've they've almost stopped development of the Symbian yeah. stuff. So all the phones are just going to be running okay. the old versions the of thing, Symbian. The thing mm. is with Android, you can't you can barely run and if you don't have a gigahertz processor with a giga RAM, Android will not run nicely on your phone. No, true. no dude, that's not entirely true. It like, won't. No, if you're running 500, 500 um, megahertz processors with five twelve megs of RAM, stuff runs all right. Yeah, but and you also, can run you could run Symbian forty on like a hundred megahertz. Yes, okay, sure. but what are you doing with that? Twenty phone? cent if, processor. If you make an Android phone that can do the equivalent stuff, you, but the point is, then you can run it on a four hundred megahertz could. processor. You could, but the point is, you're never going to get to those price points. Well, yeah. the Symbian yeah. is going to be even cheaper now. The thing is, these Android devices are going to get to the price points of these old phones soon. But you could make these cheap ones. I agree. For far cheaper now than Fair you could have three years ago. I'm just saying, okay. they are, if they're gonna, if they really, well, maybe this is their big strategy. Maybe they know something we don't, and they now canning all this because they've got they read, looked in the crystal ball and they see what's coming. Mm. I'm just saying now is they seem to be shooting themselves in the foot. They're canning their that's they're canning their money maker. Yes. yes. To well, that's chase what we're saying. Microsoft phones. Yeah. That, that nobody apparently a great phone, but nobody. I don't know anybody who wants one. And it's too high end. The, the That's what I'm is, saying. It's too high end. You're competing. Yes. Yeah, you're competing against. You're competing against heavyweights in yeah. that space. Whereas their money spinner 
was the low the, the, the 33 the, the, tens. The, the the 3310s and the 66 And you're not going to run a 90 Rand on pay as you go. Exactly. You're not going to buy an Android phone in the near future. Maybe in, I'm not saying near future, I'm talking about in the next eight That's months. a burn phone. Te- te- you know, nine- you know, next 12 months. You're not going to be able to buy an Android device for a hundred for 99 Rand. Maybe they decided to, to give up on it because they've pretty much been schooled by the likes of ZTE and Huawei. Those mm. Chinese manufacturers who are just out manufacturing them in the cheap space. Not true. I think also there's a bit of Microsoft paid them. I don't yeah, know. I think there's a bit of the, that deal going. Ma- on. Maybe, but I, I've read some of Stephen Ellops. There was a very interesting uh, blog post. A guy, you know, fired off an email t- randomly to to what seems to be Steve, Stephen mm-hmm. Ellops' email address, and he got a response back. And the response was, they they had to make a decision because Migo, in the in the time frames they were talking about would be unable to deliver across radio frequencies the kind of experience they want. So, the, so for instance, Migo at the moment, they can roll out to GSM. When he's talking about like across radio frequency technologies, it seems like they are not able to roll out in things like CDMA maybe. Maybe they're not able to roll out in whatever it is Japan uses. But um, why? why not? That's just why a chip. Not? It's that's not your, just the chip. You have to you have to support it in the software as well. Yeah, but that's I mean that's hidden by drivers. That's yeah. in the ba- and, and I guess that's, that, that's what he was scared stuff. of. Is and, and, like no, what drove them to Microsoft was fear. No, that's that's not the. That's well, that was bu- his response. So I know, one can only really go. Uh, yeah, that's bull- bullshit. Sorry. I'm calling BS on that too. <laughs> that is, that's the thing bullshit. is, I don't develop Migo. So if you guys have some sort of insight in the development of Migo about what drivers are available for it, yeah, but the drivers get given to you by the manufacturers of the chip. Well, we would help you do it. Well, Qualcomm has pretty much abandoned CDMA 2000, I think. Yeah, but it so doesn't matter. You, 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 they, you know, every Android, all these Android devices have got different baseband processors. The Android doesn't really care about what, what your what underlying, what hardware, underlying is hardware is. You talk through abstraction. Yes. You have to. All right. So, so maybe that's what was the other fear was that people would not supply drivers to Miko. No, no, but it's Linux why? based. Though. Yes, I mean the, uh, the manufacturers will shoot themselves see. in the foot if they're not going to supply you with the driver. Here's the hardware, but you can't get a driver well, for it. Well, they're not really shooting themselves <laughs> in the foot for a non. No, no. Put this way: those the reasons you're giving now are not the reason they went with Microsoft and abandoned Mega. Yeah, they they, yeah. they chose to go with Microsoft for for business reasons. And they're now just giving arbitrary reasons why they've can anything else. Anyway, next topic. Yes, um, there was one. There was one comment in RSC while we're on the topic. Um, I thought we should just cover the topic the Galaxy since it was brought up about the Galaxy Tab being banned from Europe and Australia. Uh, That's and, and Australia, Australia. Thanks, yes. to, uh, thanks to a lawsuit, Apple's lawsuit. Yes, so Apple got sucks. A, a, a type of interdict um, mm. against Samsung because Apple sucks. <laughs> well, and because the Samsung Galaxy Tab looks an awful lot like an iPad. In fact, Samsung's equipment in general operates an awful lot like iOS. So that, that was the basis, I think, of the complaint. Uh, yeah. <laughs> look, I don't know anybody who's actually looked at these things. They're different. They, they well, look I've looked s- at them. They what is the, dude, what is the, they, what is this the new If Galaxy you If tab? you walked into a store one, wanting an iPad, one. right? Yeah, you wouldn't be confused, absolutely. I agree You'd walk that. out with an iPad. Yeah. Um, the, the, I, I guess, yeah, but look, this does come down to just it's basically warfare. It's just warfare on a different front. Yes. Instead of on the technological front, look, uh, without like insight into what's going on, I can just sort of list the, the facts. Well, no, the, well, facts are, uh, the facts are Samsung manufactures <laughs> Apple's stuff, right? Yes. So I think it's a very dangerous situation for Apple to be in, to have somebody, you know, basically cloning their no, stuff. No, but no. Uh, having said that, apparently oh, got, with I think Samsung... They, because remember when the PC came that's out. That's exactly what they <laughs> scared of. That's exactly yeah. what they But this way, <laughs> they're worried that they can't compete in, in products, so they're suing the guys out of the market. And, and not just products, yes. but, but um, price. Uh, the Koreans are going to be able to manufacture stuff cheaper. They're going to be able to manufacture it on a greater scale. They're going to be able to distribute it wider. Then Having said with Samsung, apparently, though, it's not quite – they say it's the same company, but the phone manufacturer has to um, basically bid the same way Apple does for chips and stuff like that. Okay. To keep that, it fair, they that's keep quite, quite cool. separate, yeah. That's, that's clever. That, that gives you some, uh, some ammunition to fight back with. And anyway, it was, it, it was brought up in RSC. I think it's just yeah. interesting, yeah, interesting I, to mention I, while we're talking about it. I think this whole oh, – we're not going to get into whole soft, software patents and the, the way these guys are suing to win is just – Stupid. They're taking away my choices, so the, the, uh, yeah, I don't want to even get into it. It's yeah. bad. Full to stop. quote, uh, to quote, well, paraphrase John Carmack because I don't have the quotes in front of me. 
if I'm faced with a problem one day and I go through the logical steps to solve that problem only to discover that the, that pr particular solution has been patented and but I can't use it. Yeah, but that's not implemented. That, that's a scary future. Mm -hmm. All right, um, into the next topic, which I was something odd that I've been noticing on my broadband forums recently. Yes. People are asking medical advice. What? Like, and they keep on going, and the one was like, <laughs> I, I got bitten by something and now it's swelling up and it uh, looks which, bad. Which, which, should I go to a doctor? And it's like, yes. If you need to ask a question, go. Yeah. And there wasn't just one. And then on the way past, go see a psychiatrist. What and there's common sense in all four. This was, you know, you go to the main broadband, my, yeah. main my broadband page, and then at the bottom there, they've got like the four oh, of the, the top forums. Yeah. yeah. Topics. yeah. Um, in there, it's like we spotted the one, and it's like, yeah, yeah, ha, oh, funny, funny. And like, like, there's another one. It's like, do, do you know, people want need medical advice come to the My Broadband forums. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, and, and if you have a look, it's, it's, you know, you know where you see it. It's on at the bottom of the page. It says, you know, most commented articles yeah. and stuff. And there was a one, there was one there about like what, just what's the best contraceptives to use. I'm like, uh -huh. this is the, exactly the wrong crowd to ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Sue. <laughs> it, with that crowd, what's it? What's, what's the joke? Personality. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the common IT guy. Uh, it's uh, it's just, sorry, it was just something random I noticed while looking at researching topics. Ah, uh, yes. So, my broadband. I come there for all your, <laughs> <laughs> all all your requirements. <laughs> and you guys just, it's just really worth because some of the responses to some of these guys. But, I mean, it's serious. <laughs> it's like, no, no. Sorry, please. sorry, dude. It, there's no worth it. You may as well like. But, I mean, <laughs> just. But being a little bit more serious about it, I mean, the with all these online medical advice forums and things like that, I mean, someone will say, okay, I have a, my big toe is a bit swollen. What's the problem? 90% of the answers will be cancer. <laughs> it's not like maybe you've tripped and you've now Look, hurt I, your I, toe. I must say with most of these guys, that the, the first thing was always, Go chat to your doctor. Yes, I know. That happened to be my, you know, on the My Broadband forums. But I'm talking about there's online doctor, there's online medical forum. It's where yes. you go get a second opinion on an online forum instead of actually going to see an, a specialist. Yeah. Understand if you have, why, if they, uh, Look, yes, I, I can but, understand researching a bit further if you've got something and finding out yeah, but more. But there's a difference between you know, researching a bit further and going asking to... Asking the initial question. Yeah. But think, think critically. Yes, if we can, if we can, yes. the with all the stuff of today, think critically. Yes. So we, what do we see in the distant future? A my doctor. There will be one. There really will be one. There's lots of them. Hey, we should uh, take that first. Oh, oh, my broadband. Yeah, oh, my sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. All right. Thought, yeah. <laughs> hey, my doctor. Wait, I, thought, I was going my doctor. <laughs> oh no, that, that's hold probably, on, hold on. That's I think been that's the one registered. I'm thinking. WebMD is yes. the one I'm thinking of. I, I think MD. there are some guys at the door, lawyers for Apple, saying something about eye doctor being infringing. Uh, uh, we <laughs> just had uh, one of the answers was uh, cut your foot off, and I saw that response to my book brand for The best one was on, the best <laughs> one was on Yahoo Answers, right? Um, the the, the uh, woman asks and says, "If I have sex while I'm pregnant, will my baby get pregnant?" Oh no. That's and sad. And That's and not even response. funny. Response? And the response was the best ever. It was yes, and you've got to be really careful because then you could get your baby's baby pregnant and then you can get into an endless loop. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh. Okay. And a recursive endless loop. No idea. Yeah. Um, um, unfortunately, my doctor at today is registered to Media24. Ah. Hello, doctor. So they're planning something. Ah, they've got that My Health. Thing of theirs, maybe it's just gonna read Isn't there a Hello Doctor TV show as well? I'm sure there is, and yeah. they've got some online prisons as well. Anyway, I must also we, we <laughs> sorry, <laughs> 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 I'm getting ready for our, our next bit. Um, Jan, apparently, you have an HTC sensation. I do have an HTC sensation. What? Me? No, yes, is it insured? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Are you planning on breaking my sensation? No. no it might disappear. It might disappear. Is oh, it look Apple at that baby. Approved. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So I know you guys want to touch it. You can touch it later. Ooh. Okay, so oh, yeah. And? Okay. Have we got focus there? All right. Yeah, it looks uh, okay. It's right. pretty. So for those who've already played with the new Sense UI, it's nothing new. Drag the circle up to do stuff. Um, it's got these little icons at the bottom. So if you need to do something, you can drag the little icon into the circle. But that's that's is that sense or is that actually gingerbread? Sorry. No, no, no. That's sense. sense. It's is not, it sense? It's not okay. That's sense three. Yeah. Does yeah. not make sense. Uh, that's the that's the camera. So that's quite meta. You are. See if you can make your face fit perfectly. Cool. 
How are you finding it? Here we go. Um, <laughs> it, initial impressions, and we'll probably do a review later. Um, the initial impressions are, it's, I mean, it's a super phone. It's a really solid piece of kit. The, the, H, the, sorry, the Samsung Galaxy S2, is, it's just really blowing it out the water in terms of pure performance. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I hate TouchWiz. Um, I don't like the light feel of the, of the Galaxy S2. I much prefer the more solid feel of the sensation. And maybe that's, that's worth just showing people like the, the sens one of the sensations claim to fame in terms of hardware. Because the whole shell comes off. Oh, All right. Cool. So you've got. And that's like, also magnesium or mold aluminium yeah. or something, eh? Yeah, it's not. It's not aluminium. It's, it's not. It's, it's so that's a design sort of change from the desires. Yeah. So this isn't a desire. This is a totally different type of foam. So uh, and there you can see the case. So you can see it's like a solid, like the the whole phone slot slots into the case. Okay. Um, so th that that's sort of its big design thing, and in terms of design language, it's really a sexy phone. Um, but performance-wise, I'm really feeling the lack of graphical power. Uh, Have you tried? Sort of stuff. Uh, you haven't. You haven't. You haven't rooted it. No. So if you want to, Core Droid ROM have just released their for um, sensation for sensation okay yeah, the ROM for sensation so you get it cordroidroms.com and that's what I'm running on my desire uh, HD at the moment is the new cordroid ROM and it rocks because cool. cool. they've also got the full H uh, HTC Sense three and everything on it it's pretty cool oh so so cordroid it's it's actually bundled HTC zone apps with it yes Neat. and if you need yeah. to install use uh, ROM manager ROM manager, manager. yeah download the zip slap it on your actually yeah. Download the zip, stick it on your SD card and ROM manager. I was going to say, just pay for ROM manager and, and normally it will and pull you all do of them. Th that you can do as well. I yes. think it's the one thing I've paid for yeah. it. It's worth it. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. But, yeah, we'll but we'll full we'll review will be up. It'll be, there'll be a text review on my broadband and we're definitely doing a video cool. review. We'll yeah. do. Awesome. All right. Now to the end of the show. The um, turbo and tabulator. The <laughs> <laughs> There's even a wiki entry for it. Yeah, it's cool. Um, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> say that again. Turbo and tabulator. Okay, what is that? It's a downdraft bifurcator for trans transcranial <laughs> directional <laughs> transmission. I've had one cup of coffee. Just, <laughs> let's just go through that slowly. It's a downdraft <laughs> bifurcator. Yes. Yeah. No. No, it's, it's not real. Just play the video. It's just <laughs> Watch the video. Um, this is not a real basically thing. It's can you just play the video a little bit? Let's play I a don't know if she can. Well, uh, can, the, can, the, the can the mixer, is the mixer do, do, it. do it for us? But I can oh. just talk me through the terms. Just, just, just okay. No. <laughs> is a lot of terms. Let, let, let's just give the background. It's, it's so, some guy who's a, a professional narrator for technical appliances. They basically... Well, te yeah, technical videos. Technical okay, videos. Yes. Yeah. They got him in to do a video. But just while they were doing the dry run, that he got up there and just started... Babbling. Talking techno babble. It, it has okay. no meaning. But he doesn't. He the, it's. He doesn't. He doesn't laugh. He doesn't stutter. It's bang on. Like really, really As if it's good. been Brilliant. rehearsed with a it's, script and yeah, all that. It's. Um, like it's I'm just going to play a tiny bit now, quickly. Uh, oh, okay. Apparently our mix is. But it just it goes on and, and you're just sitting there. And when you first get it, it it's it's it you know, it sounds so legit. And then you, say, you start to listen to, and to what he's saying and it's like <laughs> sorry, what? <laughs> Thank you. So I'm not double clutching here for nothing. No, okay. What the hell are you? I think there was about? a double clutch in it. Yes, there was. <laughs> Don't forget a double ring. Pop the video onto the broadcast. Broadcast that out as well. There for we a number of years now, work has Oh, but this is a very old video. Yeah, yeah. it's quite old, yes. I think it was a uh, Rockwell. Yep. Was Rockwell or Rocket Down or something like that yeah. did it? Rockwell, I think. Okay. Okay, you ready? Okay. <laughs> For a number of years now, work has been proceeding in order to bring perfection to the crudely conceived idea of a transmission that would not only supply inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal grammeters. Such an instrument is the turbo encapsulator. <laughs> now, basically, the only new principle involved is. I, that anyway, we're going to. So it keeps on going. It yeah. just goes. Cool. And guys, and yeah. guys. And, and this is like a one take deal. Yes. It's brilliant. It's, it's brilliant. brilliant. And brilliant. look at that um, face. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And here's our right. random mixer fact for the night, <laughs> if I may. Sorry? Random mixer fact? Sure. Yeah. Some say. She's got a turbo and tablet in her garage. <laughs> and it is running her 3D printer. Cool. <laughs> and on that note. No, thank and you. on that bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. 
Right. Thank you very much. You need to sign of off, Tim. We have signed off. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a good night there. No, man. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, we just want to thank everyone. Stuart, thank you for joining us. We'll see you again in... Yeah, six, six weeks, weeks or, or so. As soon as I get sorted. Yeah, I'm, th th it's Cape Town. Things go slow there. Slapstat. Yeah. Dude. We'll see. I've got to find a place to live first. So. Yep. You can come back, uh, drive badly. and Yeah. <laughs> dude, yeah, that was quite, yeah. Hey, you, you've got the dude. Yeah. <laughs> go to Belleville and see why accidents happen. Cool. <laughs> um, where can people find you? Uh, StuartAllen.org. For That's another week. Then he's offline. Yeah, they'll be offline for a while. And then catch me on Twitter. Uh, Stu underscore ZA. Your blog? Uh, Stu Allen. Stu oh, Allen. So when you move, your blog goes down? No. Oh, okay. No, no, no. It's hosted in. Uh, it's hosted on Rackspace. Oh, okay. They thought that was quite funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> hopefully not for much longer. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> cool. Spinning uh, up an EC2 to host your blog. Yeah. That seems like overkill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> overkill is, is, is the way it should be. Yeah. Come Maybe on. we could stream the show from there. <laughs> Uh, Quentin, where can people find you? Uh, my blog, geek.coza with a Q instead of a K. Just spell it quickly. G E E Q dot zero zero. Cool. And Twitter, Quentin zero. Johan else? Johan underscore else on Twitter and uh, blog at who dash else at zero zero. And but please remember, or you can just find me at LT Afrikaans tomorrow night. <laughs> LT Afrikaans, hopefully tomorrow night, yes. Yeah. Uh, we're we're going to be chatting to somebody, uh, a female that actually tried to go to Opikopi. Ah, she was at Opikopi. Was it Opikopi? Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be quite interesting to find out how that go went. So well, you've had it on before, uh, Marissa? Yes, I know. I know. Marissa. So she's a returner, but from Opikopi. Quite a, quite hope the bubble loss is over. And we'll be on the WUG and everything again. Hop and seven yes. tomorrow night. Right. Are we going to do this competition that we spoke about? Sorry, uh, Fried Roadkill just asked about it. That's yeah. the best email address. The best email address. Yes. Are we going to launch it? Let's just sign off to, yeah, and then we'll just, we'll, that'll be the last segment, quickly. We'll, I'll wing it. Okay, wing it, okay. quickly. Okay, we'll cool. Let's sign off quickly. All and right. uh, Jan? Yeah, my, at my Jan VZA and mybroadband.co.za forward slash author forward slash staff writer. writer. <laughs> cool. Uh, myself, Tim underscore Hawk on Let's Talk Network TV. Uh, and thank you to the mixer. Right. Very silent. Right. Okay. So the quick comp the quick competition. Do you want to go quickly and grab the grab the the prize? Okay. Let's we'll just grab it, it firmly. Tim will edit out the dead air then. <laughs> no, it's fine. And, uh, <laughs> and so right. while we're so, waiting so in the anticipation, so the competition is the best something something at what's it? Let's talk network TV, eh, Tim? Yep. Let's talk network. So the funniest. Or just there we go. It could be geeky, the best, could be funny. funniest, anything. The best email address at let's talk uh, network. TV. Eh? Yeah. Yes. And there we go. We, the, we have three to give away. And we've got three to give away. And first prize, I will include the touch set, the touch kit for this. So it's just a it's a different microprocessor and a, a, like a shield that you plug on top and then you can play with the touch sensitive stuff. What is it? What is this? All Come right. on, talk it me through. It is an MSP four thirty uh, launchpad development kit. So what is it? Plug into USB. Plugs yep. into USB. It it's got a CD with or CD with it, eh? Yeah. And a USB cable and you can install it and then start writing some software. How bad is it on static? Um, not yeah, that I wouldn't. Would yeah, open it. Wouldn't open it now. Okay. Cool. Um, it also and get a sticker too. You've got the, and the kit has got LEDs on there. You can make blink. Um, it's got buttons for sensing. It's got two microprocessors. It's got a 32 kilohertz real time clock crystal that you can use to implement a real time clock app or something. Um, there's the little the bag. Yeah, I've done that. There's the box. You can go read some more on. Uh, and there's uh, if you want if you want to know some details about it, here's the the address to go to. It is uh, ti.com forward slash launchpad wiki. Cool. And there'll be the whole, all the details. And it's, it's, there's an open source compiler for it that works. Yeah. Um, and there's open source debugger. So you can actually do hardware debugging on it and all sorts of stuff. It's quite cool. And oh, how much would this cost in real life? Yeah. Those are the chips. Oh, so there's some processor chips. All right. Um, how, how much is this if you want to buy it? <laughs> oh, it was cheap if you want to buy it, but to try to get hold of them is the problem. Yeah. Oh, I see. They yeah. got totally, so you might be waiting months you for it. You might wait oh, a couple okay. of months for it, but uh, I think they okay. were $5 to buy. Yeah. Oh, okay. So when will be the closing date for this competition? Um, 
We will wait until Stewart's got connectivity in Cape Town so that he Stuart can actually will be... launch. Stuart will announce the winner. So yes, okay, right. Stuart's so back you... again, so we have about six weeks. You've got six about to, six weeks. Yeah, six to eight weeks, maybe even 12. Just well, well I'm going to say, no, let's say, if, if we, he isn't on in eight weeks, we will announce the winner. Yes, yeah. Okay. So worst right. case, eight weeks, but possibly six. Yep, so there we go. That is that, and then the, the touch kits as well. One That's touch kit got. for the for the grand prize. There goes my entry into the IRC. Yes. And you can, from any of the... Uh, and, and you've got to email it to us, eh? Yes. You've got to email it to no, us, No faxes. No faxing. No voicemails. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> email it. Yeah, if, you want, if you want to email, email us a MP3 voicemail on that email address, we can do that. Yeah. Okay, that's not a bad idea. Okay. So have fun and see what you guys come up with. All right. Yeah. And there will be some prizes up for grabs. All right. Thank All you right. very much. Thank you very much. There we go. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers everyone. Oh, Good bye. Night. Bye.